Hey, I'm Dave Coleman. I'm a manager of Vehicle Dynamics Engineering here at uh, Mazda R&D in the U.S. SkyActiv-X is the first uh, uh, compression ignition gasoline engine uh, that's, that's going to be commercially viable. What we're doing here is, is trying to run uh, in extremely lean compression ignition to get the really get the most energy extraction out of the out of the fuel that we're putting in there. When you're running lean, you have a whole bunch of surplus air uh, in the in the combustion chamber, and the the Two things happen. Uh, you have to compress it really uh, hard. We're, we're like 16 to 1 compression in this engine right now. Um, and it, then the air fuel mixture auto ignites. Um, we're triggering that auto ignition with the spark plug, but there's a brief period of spark ignition that then triggers this auto ignition of the whole mixture together. That compression ignition process is super fast. So we get all of the energy up at the top of the stroke and we're able to extract all of that energy through the full stroke instead of a slower combustion that burns as the piston's moving out of the way. Um, we're anticipating up to 20% improvement in fuel economy uh, and uh, more torque and better throttle response in our current Sky2G engines. One of the reasons this engine is really appropriate for Mazda and the way we build cars, we really prioritize responsiveness and direct connection between the driver and the car. Uh, and the, the sky to vex engine has a really broad uh, operating range where it's, where it's very efficient. We can, uh, it gets almost the same efficiency at, at, at sort of mid-speed as it does at very low RPMs. So the, the SkyActiv-X engine is going to first launch in our next generation small platform. We've really uh, been focusing the new platform on trying to make the, the, the car uh, feel more solid and secure and have the, 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 the body motions feel more natural. To get this Jinbai Tai, this connection between the, the car and driver, we've been really studying human sensory perception better uh, and what humans are doing in the car and how they're balancing them themselves. And we've, we've come to understand that the car needs to move in a way that mimics the way uh, our legs are moving, our upper body as we walk. And so sort of refocusing all of our suspension tuning to coordinate every single part of the car from the tire to the seat, the, all those things that are, that are taking force from the road and transmitting it to your body and make them all work together to give you this smooth motion that, that your upper body would feel as you're walking along on your legs. Um, has sort of revolutionized how we're able to tune the car. It turns out we can make the car firmer, uh, and ride harder and still be more comfortable um, because the way the inputs are coming into us matches our subconscious expectations that have been in there since we were cavemen. So uh, if we look at the acceleration profile as the car goes over a bump, we want it to ramp up and ramp down in a very smooth way. Um, and focusing on the, the, the motion uh, coming into the seat uh, and making sure that all of the parts of the suspension are working to create this smooth motion uh, has has sort of driven us toward changes that the individual changes don't sound very exciting. Hey, we made the sidewalls softer and the bushing stiffer. Big deal. Well, the big deal is the result of that. That puts the, the input into the suspension more smoothly and that gets it to the driver in a way they expect and it feels more natural. And as a result, we can now stiffen the suspension and it still feels good to the, to the drivers. So this SkyActiv-X engine has been on our sort of roadmap uh, for, for seven or eight years. We, we um, put together a plan of, you know, what's it going to take to get to the absolute most efficient uh, internal combustion engine, um, using technologies that weren't available at the time, but, but uh, combustion theory and, uh, that, that was. We knew that the, the tools and the technology to achieve that would be possible sometime in the future. We did put out this multi-step roadmap. Sky2G was the first step in that roadmap. The technology we had available at that time, we got as far as we could. We had the highest compression ratio uh, engine on the market, 13 to 1 on, on 87 octane gas. Um, and that was, that was a very efficient and responsive and, and you know, good driving engine. Now as some of the technologies have matured for the next step of what we envisioned back at the beginning of this, now we're, we're bringing this to fruition. We've got another step sort of out there on the horizon that we still don't know how we're going to pull it off, but we, we know the ideas of what we're trying to do. We're, we're targeting uh, 2019 production of the engine. Uh, we're going to have, I'm not saying model year, because we're going to start building 2019 model years very soon. Um, but uh, sometime in 2019, we're planning to start uh, producing the engine. Not positive which market it's going to first and not positive which car it's going to first. But.